The expectation values for the particle in a box. A particle of mass m is confined to a one-dimensional box between x equals 0 and x equals l. Find the expectation value of the position of the particle in the state characterized by quantum number n. Okay, so the wave function psi is a function of x and it is indexed by this quantum number n. And as we have seen, the wave function using the normalization condition was found to be square root 2 over L sine n pi x divided by L. Now, what is the <coughs> expectation value for x? It is the integral from minus infinity to plus infinity, the wave function complex conjugate x multiplied by the wave function itself dx. So this is basically the integral from 0 to L because the wave function vanishes outside the boundaries of the box. Uh, 2 over L square root sine n pi x over l square brackets square x dx the complex conjugate is the function itself because it's a real function so this is now equal to uh, the square of square root 2 over L is going to give me 2 over L. The integral from 0 to L, x sine square and pi x over L dx. And now let me call u and pi x over L so that l over n pi du is equal to dx and x is equal to l u over n pi so i make this transformation of variables and this gives me <coughs> 2 over l now for x I have substituted LU over n pi. For dx I substituted L over n pi du. So I have L over n pi squared L over n pi parentheses squared integral from x equals 0 to x equals L. Now when x is equal to 0 u is equal to 0 when x is equal to l u is equal to n pi because u is n pi x over l uh, u sine square u du now this is equal to <clears throat> uh, so i have l square on top and l at the bottom so i will obtain 2l 2L divided by n square pi square integral from 0 to n pi u sine square u du and for sine square I can substitute 1 minus cosine 2u over 2 so this will be 2L over n squared pi squared integral from 0 to n pi u then I have <coughs> 1 minus cosine 2u over 2 that's replacing sine square d 
du. Okay, <clears throat> now I'm going to do uh, the in integration by parts for the second part of this integral. So this integral boils down to, uh, because 2L over 2 will give me an L here, L n square pi square, the integral 0 to n pi u du minus the integral 0 to n pi u cosine 2u du. <clears throat> now remember integration by parts uh, basically that says u dv is equal to uv minus v du. So uh, we have to recognize this is from uh, our knowledge of integration by parts. Integral u dv uh, will be equal to uv minus integral v du. Or in other words, uh, duv is u dv plus v du. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm going to call cosine 2u uh, du dv. So let's call this one dv. So in order not to uh, mix these u's here, so let me call this u prime, u prime, u prime, u prime, u prime, u prime. <clears throat> so dv is cosine 2 u prime, du prime. And I'm going to apply uh, this formula. So this is basically uh, integral of u dv. So I will replace it by u v minus integral v du. Okay, so expectation value of x. Let's see here. I have L over n square pi square. L over n square pi square. The integral of u du gives me u squared over 2 minus uh, so if dv is uh, cosine 2u du then i will have minus 1 over 2 uh, or minus cosine 2u du is the uh, derivative uh, is going to be replaced with one minus 1 over 2 uh, sine 2u so uh, I will have minus u over 2 sine 2u, okay? So, um, this was u prime. So, uh, I call u u prime and dv is cosine 2u prime du prime that's what i'm doing so by integrating uh, v i obtain 1 over 2 sine 2u so that is uh, this one and u is here so 1 over 2 sine 2u times u i had a minus sign here so i keep that here and then it will be minus but because of the a minus sign here it will turn into a, a plus so plus um, integral v du now uh, v is 1 over 2 sine 2u prime and du is du prime and this will be evaluated between 0 and n pi, remember. And these will be evaluated between 0 and n pi.
Okay, so if I continue, first I have L divided by N square pi square. For uh, the first term, I have uh, U prime squared divided by 2. The second term is minus U prime over 2 sine 2 U prime. And then the fourth term, the integral of sine, gives me plus 1 over 4 um, It's not plus, it's minus Minus 1 over 4 Cosine 2u The derivative of cosine 2u is minus 2 sine 2u So uh, it will become one half so this was going to be minus one over four cosine two u prime and this will be evaluated between zero and n pi okay now uh, if i plug in n pi here sine of uh, two n pi and sine of zero will give me zero so this term will give me zero. If I put uh, n pi here, cosine 2 n pi and cosine zero are the same thing. So if I subtract them, I will also get zero. So this term basically gives me an answer of zero. So that's just zero. So I will be left with L divided by n squared pi square 1 over 2 u prime square where uh, I'm substituting for u n square uh, pi square as the limit uh, u, equal, u equals to 0 gives me 0 contribution so these will cancel and I will find expectation value for x to be L over 2. So my final answer for the expectation value of the position is L over 2, right in the middle. So this uh, basically has important applications. The particle in a box is basically representing an electron in a quantum dot, an electron in hydrogen atom, a proton trop trapped in a nucleus etc so whenever you have a quantum particle trapped somewhere you, you should think of the particle in a box states so we considered the expectation values for the particle that is confined to move between zero and l with zero potential energy in inside the box and infinite potential energy outside the box we know the solutions square root 2 over l sine n pi x over l expectation value is basically psi bra x psi cat which is the integral over all space psi complex conjugate x psi dx the it's a real wave function so uh, this complex conjugate is, is itself so we're squaring it so we obtain 2 over l sine square n pi x over l x dx so this integral when performed from uh, 0 to l using integration by parts uh, we obtain the expectation value of x to be L over 2. So uh, if, we, if I go back to my solutions here, uh, this basically tells me that the particle is most likely to be found right in the middle. So uh, the expectation value of the position of the particle is L over 2.